this example, I'm going to show you how quick it is for a sales rep to generate a pick list. You're going to start off by generating a sales order. This example, we're going to use Elliot Lewis as a customer, and we're going to sell them SKU 22, which is a Dell fan. And we're going to sell the customer 10 of these. We could check stock, see what we have available. So you have 240 on hand, and we're going to allocate this order or set it on allocated status. So we'll leave it up to the pickers in the facility to choose the uh, first 10 that meet the spec. If the sales rep chooses, they could put in some internal comments that will translate over to the pick list. When you're ready, the sales rep will choose generate pick list. And this will initiate the pick list process. In order to start this, um, the manager typically of the department that pulls product will choose a rep, will verify the pick list task name, the notes that were pushed in from the sales order, and they would see that they're looking to pick 10 of these units. Um, they would hit start task. Now they would hit next. Now what happens is in the pick list queue, this order is pending for a pick. It's in progress. So in this example, Bill Preston would double click this item and he would generate a pick list. So you could either download the pick list to your computer as a PDF or print it out on your printer, which would give you a list that would show you the uh, product image, uh, the part number, and locations that meet that spec. Your other option is you could export a Excel spreadsheet that would provide you all locations of that product that meets the requirements. So over here you could see every location the product uh, is available in. And you can scroll through and uh, make a decision of where you're going to pick that's most suitable and most efficient. So in this example, we're going to scan 10 items into the pick list that will get allocated to that sales order. So basically, your picker will pull the items and will begin scanning the barcode that's on the particular products. And this would verify the product is available to the sales order. You could see on the open status how many is remaining to fulfill the sales order. Once complete, you can see the items have been pulled and allocated to the sales order. Uh, you also have an option to remove an item or mark an item not found. Once complete, the picker will hit next. And this will push it to a quality control state. So if we went back to the pick list queue and you filtered by quality control, your quality control person could see they have, you know, five to ten items in this list. They would double click this item, review the paperwork, and see which items were pulled. If there's any issue, you would have the option to fail an item, choose a particular reason, update the condition, and once complete, you would save those changes. You also have the option to scan it into a new location, such as you know RMA or repair. Once complete, you would hit complete. And what's going to happen here, it's going to open up a new pick list for this particular order because you had 10 and only 9 have been fulfilled. So you're going to hit yes, and this will open up a new pick, which could then be assigned to a next user. And the same process would move forward. You can notice at the top there's only one open, so that's all you have to fulfill. You would hit scan the item in, hit next. If the item passes inspections, you would complete. That would send an email to the rep notifying them that the pick list has been closed and the sales order is ready for the packaging and shipping process. So if we go back to the sales order and we refresh the screen, we'll see the products have been allocated according to the pickers. That's how you fulfill a sales order by using the pick list feature.